Welcome to the British Royal Family TV. Lost to Home Office. Harry cursing Meghan makes him humiliated in court over her leaked secret when it was revealed in January. The Duke of Sussex is taking legal action against the Home Office over its decision not to allow him police protection for himself and his family while in the UK. Prince Harry's lawyers are expected to ask Mr. Justice Swift to grant permission for a full judicial review of the decision regarding his safety. If today's motion is successful, the Duke will be allowed to plead his case in the High Court. Prince Harry lost his taxpayer-funded police protection after he and Meghan Markle stepped down as full-time royals in March 2020. A statement released by the Duke's office in January claimed Harry offered in January 2020 to personally pay for police protection needed for himself and his family. However, the offer was rejected during a preliminary hearing in March, where the judge ruled that parts of the court documents in the case should remain private. Robert Palmer Cousy of the Home Office said in written submissions that Harry's offer to privately fund police protection was irrelevant and that police personal protective equipment could not be hired. Harry is questioning the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee on the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, which has delegated powers from the Home Office. The reasoning also alleges that the conclusions reached were inappropriate and that insufficient information was provided regarding Rep's policy and those involved in the Rex decision, the judge said. A legal representative of Prince Harry previously said he wanted to fund the security himself rather than asking taxpayers to foot the bill. The Home Office's written arguments also allege that the Prince Rep's offer of funding was not specifically made at the time of Harry's visit in June 2021 or in recent preliminary talks. Royal biographer Angela today questioned whether Harry and Meghan's decision to roll down their window to greet the crowds yesterday was compatible with their fears for their safety and an alleged promise to keep a low profile in the UK. She said she was very angry when the couple were seen with the window down as they drove through crowds near Buckingham Palace. Meghan was spotted waving briefly as they walked past onlookers, Ms. Levin said. They had fought for security but seemed happy to roll down the window and wave. The couple were denied 24-hour armed protection from British police after stepping down as working royals. Harry is taking legal action against the Home Office over the decision. However, the Queen sent a car and security detail to pick up Harry and Meghan and their children Archie and Lilibet when they landed at Fanborough earlier this week after flying from their home in America. The Duchess of Sussex, 40, was in high spirits as she looked over her shoulder and waved out the window with a more demure Harry, 37. The couple did not have a seat on the Buckingham Palace balcony with senior members of the royal because they no longer work as royals. Instead, they were pictured enjoying the scenes from a balcony at the Horse Guards Parade. Ms. Levin said I felt when I saw her, what are you doing here? You are irrelevant why are you here? I was very angry when they rolled down the window of their car. They are people who fought for more security, for the greatest possible security, and yet they were happy to roll down the window and wave. Why do they do that? Harry said he felt like he was in a zoo when he was a working king. So what was he doing, waving to everyone? Why would you want to do that? Ms. Levin also took aim at Meghan, who she claimed has absolutely devastated the royal family. She has made it very, very difficult for senior members who have the disease not to speak out publicly. She added. My instinct was what are you doing here? I don't think you can trash someone and then turn up with smiles. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates from the royal family.